Now, I've come up with a system called Focal, and what that's going to allow you to do is to create photorealistic imagery in Mid Journey version 6 with much more accuracy. Now, this isn't going to be 100% remedy, of course, nothing is, right? Nothing's perfect, but it should allow for at least a 70 to 80% consistency with what you have in mind, translating to what you see in front of you after the fact of you prompting. So let's get into it. So the first part of Focal then is frame and composition. So frame consists of the overall image and composition is indicated by the visual elements that make up the image or that are arranged within the frame. So good composition guides the viewer's eye to the most important parts of the frame and can dramatically affect the image's mood and narrative. Key composition techniques include the rule of thirds, leading lines, framing and balance. So I'll get into those particular composition techniques shortly, but first I'm going to read out the prompt. So a portrait of a person framed symmetrically with a blurred natural background. Include natural light to emphasize depth and focus with balanced negative space around the subject. So the first technique then of composition is rule of thirds. So if we go here, you get these lines and it is a two by two grid and you also get these intersection points here as denoted by the yellow dots there. So what happens typically is when we utilize the rule of thirds, we have a subject placed either side of these intersection points slightly. Okay, so slightly offset from those intersection points. So that is using rule of thirds. And we can see this further from a particular prompt that I did. We can see this particular old lady there. So we can envision for a second that we've got one vertical line there that's completely parallel with her particular eye. And then we've got another vertical line here. And then we've got two horizontal lines going across there. So that's a great example of rule of thirds in action. And then we've got leading lines. Now, leading lines is basically where you're using nature to help guide the viewer's eye towards the main focus of the particular image. In this case, that particular focus is the dog that we see in the center of this image here. And the leading line in this case would be the railings of the bridge as well as the pavement of the bridge as well that are leading to that central focus i.e the focal point of the image which is the subject and that is the dock. So that is leading lines in action. Now we get framing. So the frame is the overall image and then within that overall image we've got another frame here that's artificial that is made as a like rectangle and then within that we've got the boat okay which is the main focal point of the image. So that's framing. Then we get balance. Now balance is a little bit different to symmetry. Balance is related to but distinct from symmetry. A balanced image doesn't necessarily look the same right to left or side to side. Rather, the various quadrants of the image complement each other in aesthetically pleasing ways. A viewer's eye will likely scan the image, looking for a point of interest and something else in dialogue with that point. An obvious subject might be balanced on the other side of the image by negative space. A negative space is basically empty space. I don't know why they, you know, don't call it empty in the world of photography. They call it negative, but you know what it is now. It's basically empty space. So when we look at this image, we can see that there's a lot of empty space around her, but it's not specifically symmetrical. It's more balanced because we can see here those two items coming out. I don't know what you'd call them, but then we see that it's not particularly symmetrical. But however, the subject is symmetrical. If we go to these particular grid lines here, we can envision her forehead is like that and then her shoulders are like somewhere there. And then of course, she doesn't exceed those particular two grid lines. So we can say that the subject in this case is very much symmetrical, but that's seconded by a balanced negative space background behind her that is also blurred there. So the prompt formula for this is a type of image. So a portrait of a person of a subject. So a person framed symmetrically. So frame slash composition technique. So framed symmetrically with a blurred natural background. So background description, blurred background, include type of lighting. So this is a natural light example to how it affects the scene or how it affects the subject to emphasize depth and focus with balanced negative space around the subject with additional details around the subject. So that is an example of F. If you found this video helpful, give it like, but otherwise, if you want to find the next part and the next part is pretty good in terms of the difference it makes to your images. So you won't want to miss this. Just click the card on the left and yeah, you'll be shown the next part. Thanks for watching.